do you become president? Will a woman make the same as a man? And do I get to choose what I do with my body? Get a load of her attitude. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you are meeting me for the first time, my name is Clevy and it is so nice to meet you. You guys, we have another video here up for discussion. This is, immediately I see feminist and I'm like, I think I see where this is heading, you guys. This is feminist controls Trump. What he does next is absolutely savage. I mean, <laughs> it's Trump for a reason. You guys, let's check this out. Hey guys, it's Matt Miller with American Wire. And today we're looking at a clip of this feminist confronting Donald Trump during one of his rallies about disrespecting women. His answer mm. is absolutely savage. Check it out right here. Hold on. Okay, so maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you can prove me wrong, but I don't think that you're a friend to woman. How, what, it... I knew I shouldn't have picked her. I knew I shouldn't have picked her. All right, so let me give you that answer right now. I respect women incredibly. I have had women working for me in positions that they've never worked in terms of construction, in terms of so many different jobs, I had a woman who was in charge of the building of Trump Tower many years ago before it was even thought, before anybody would have even thought of it and did a fantastic job. I have given women more opportunity than I would say virtually anybody in the construction industry. I have a daughter named Ivanka and a wife named Melania who constantly want me to talk about women's health issues because they know how I feel about it and they know how I feel about women. I respect women. I love women. I cherish women. You know, Hillary Clinton said he shouldn't cherish. Well, I said, I do cherish. I cherish women. My mother was one of the great people of the world, maybe the greatest ever, my mother. I respect women, and I'm going to take care of women. You know, Jeb Bush didn't want to fund women's health issues. You read that. You saw that. And then he took it back later. I will take care of women, and I have great respect for women, and I, I do cherish women. And uh, I will take care of women. And I'll take care of us also from the enemy, meaning the enemy on different shores that's looking to come in and do numbers. Believe me, I will take care of the people in this country far better than any of the folks that you're looking at right now. That I can tell you. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Not looking to the right. Oh, I thought it was finished. She still has questions. Is it on? Okay. I want to get paid the same as a man, and I think you understand that. So, if you become president, will a woman make the same as a man, and do I get to choose what I do with my body? You're going to make the same if you do as good a job. You're going to make the same if you do as good a job. So I think Trump did a great job kind of uh, dealing with this situation, even though it was a hostile question and this girl was trying to put him on the spot and get him get him razzled. But he did a great job keeping his cool, not getting reactive to it and answering truthfully, which is that Trump has done a tremendous work elevating women to positions of authority in his own company. Uh, his track record for for dealing with uh, female employees and um, and in promoting them to positions that are important roles in his company mm -hmm. is there for everybody to see, right? I mean, if they want to try to stick him with being a misogynist because of the the odd off color joke or remark that they could try to catch him with or something, okay, then then there's no winning because God knows everybody's guilty of that. Um, and, and they're going to find something if they're looking for it, they'll find it. Um, but I think it's more important to look at what Trump has actually done rather than what he said or what he said in a joking, uh, in a joking context to really see where does he stand and what is his position on women and women's rights and women's e equality. And, um, it's plain to see that this guy is not the woman hating misogynist that the left is trying to paint him as. Mm -hmm. This this moment here is a great example of how Trump became invincible to the media, right? Most people, uh, most politicians on the right and left would take a question from a feminist activist like this 
and immediately start trying to defend themselves very um, almost like overreacting to it and, and getting on, on the back foot a little bit. And it would make them look guilty, it would make them look weak. Trump, he doesn't care. He's like, oh, what, you think you think that I um, don't treat women right? Well, you're wrong. Screw you. He doesn't need to to play into their worldview and to play their game of of uh, virtue signaling. Mm -hmm. And this is what was so refreshing about him. I mean, he just he didn't give a crap what people thought. He was genuinely himself. Trump's abilities as a spontaneous speaker being able to deal with people that he's debating, being able to deal with hecklers, protesters, or even just people asking difficult uh, confrontational questions like this was really what made him stand out in the 2016 um, primary and uh, what, what continues to make him stand out across the whole pantheon of politicians from D.C. They can't do it like he can do it. They can't handle these kinds of moments. They can't uh, exude this kind of energy that's like this bulletproof energy. And, um, you know, and I think it's because he comes from a different background, a different world. He comes from the world of business and entrepreneurship and finance and making deals with people and being strong and aggressive in a business context where you got to have a poker face and you, ha you have to have a thick <laughs> skin. You know, people are trying to screw you. You're trying to get the best deal. You're fighting for your interest. And in order to do that, you need to be uh, strong and stable and have a thick skin. And this translates very well to politics and the political arena, as we see with Trump's uh, meteoric rise and um, his seeming inability to be taken down by cancel culture. He's just been he's been deflecting bullets his whole career here. And it's, it's amazing to watch. And I think that a lot of people who are up and comers have taken a, a page from his playbook. Vivek Ramaswamy um, has, done, has done that very well. And I think a lot of politicians are, are now uh, congressional politicians and, and other people are kind of reinventing what it means to be um, a, a political figure. You know, I think being more down to earth, being more say it like it is, being more genuine, people like Tina Forte, Marjorie Taylor Greene, who are not the most prim and proper and polished uh, sort of characters, but they're they're gritty and they're real and they're uh, they're not afraid to say what they really think. And I think that the American, uh, a, a substantial amount of Americans, I'd say the majority of Americans, find that refreshing and love that. They want transparency. They want genuine characters in politics, people who they can trust, and not phony. Uh, politicians with fake smiles who are trying to screw them ultimately. So anyway, let me know what you guys thought of this clip in the comments. If you liked the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, so I was trying my best not to pause because I was like, I wanted to know if he, would, if he answered, you know, the second part of that question, right? And it's like, the, the feminist in question is like, do I have a right to do whatever I want with my body? And we all know where that is leading to. We, we talk falling back to the pro-choice, pro-life thing that we've been going on and on and on and on on this channel. And you guys, I would say this. <sighs> Abortion is not birth control. I don't know who said that. I don't know who made it a thing. I don't even know who, who, who started it. But let me say it here. I am coming from all angles, the medical field, being a girl, being a woman, you know, and every angle, every angle, you guys, basically. Abortion is not birth control. Don't unalive innocent babies. That's a life. That is a life inside you don't do it we've been going on and on and on about this topic and i would still say it again and again and again because in case it reaches new audience please just see listen there's so many i mean i mean in this day and age there's so many ways to prevent unwanted pregnancies. So many ways to.
but abortion is not one. There are so many ways to. So many. We can count them. It's scary because people are now going, you know, like the past, the last video we watched um, on, on Toka Carlson's show. People are now even going beyond when it's inside the womb to when it's even outside. We learned to see 28 days after. We still have the right to do whatever. Who passed that law? God. Who passed it? Because this is one of the things, and, and you know, when we see all of these questions, and you know, Tom, Trump is really on that spot, you see feminists always come through, always saying, you don't, I mean, if, if, you, if, you've, if you've watched The View, if you've we've, we've, we've done a couple of The View videos here on the channel, you would hear Whoopi say, he, he hates women, he hates women, he she's, oof. The girl asked, will we, will we be paid the same as a man? I said, if you do the same job, if you, if you do as good, like, see, at this point, he's saying, yes, you can. If you do what he does, if you do better than what he does, good. Yes, you can. Now she's saying, do I have a right to my own body? We all know what that topic is. And sometimes when I watch any of this, um, you know, if it's debates or interviews or anything that has to do with Trump, I listen to the way he answers this question. And I understand it differently. But the moment you go to TikTok, YouTube, or every other place, Oh my God, you ask yourself, is it this same video I watched that these people are breaking down and seeing all of these things in? It's crazy. So people never just want to see the good side. Everyone is just, oh, no one is perfect. Like, I keep saying it, no one is perfect. No one is. No one is perfect. Just like this person said, Makula said, look at what he is doing. If you want to focus on the um, jokes or the remarks or the playful things he says, but if you really want to say, okay, because at the end of the day, like I said in my video, in the past videos, I'm like, at the end of the day, we want to see talk and do. We want to see someone who will come and say this and do this. Who is going to get the job done at the end of the day? Who is going to get the job done at the end of the day is what we are after. No one is... Have you ever seen a perfect politician? Uh, have you ever... So the way they always really always paints Trump out to be this very bad, evil, I'm like <laughs> next <laughs> because it's that crazy to me. It's when when I hear that question and say, Do I have a right to whatever I do to my body? And you have a right if you know how to close your legs properly. You have a right if you if you know how to prevent them and agree to not on a life in innocent lives, uh -huh. you will have your right food. In fact, nobody will stop you. The right is yours. But you understand, the, the, the rate every year is increasing. It's the number of statistics have shown. It, like it's, it's crazy, man. What's your opinion? What do you think about this? And I'll see you in the comment section.